Hello my dears, my name is Mariana and welcome to my channel. It has been a while since I've been here. Um, things have been crazy in my life and you know what, I'm taking time to figure out what the hell is going on so I'm back and I'm glad to be back. This channel means a lot to me, the work I do means a lot to me and getting to talk about these topics that just set me afire. Oh, it is such a meaningful part of my life and I love doing it. So let's talk about some amazing stuff today. Before we do, of course, if you're not already subscribed, go do that. And if you haven't yet followed me on Instagram, really go do that. Today, what I wanna talk about is something that I actually get a lot of questions about. We're going to discuss what is depth psychology. Now, a lot of people kind of come into the Jungian world of things, but it's more than just Jung, of course, right? There's been so many thinkers, scholars, um, explorers in the world of the unconscious that have gone past Jungian theory and continue to develop it. And so we really need a broader term. And that's exactly what depth psychology is. It is the psychology of our depths. And so what I wanted to do today was just offer a little introduction into really understanding what we mean when we talk about depth psychology and why it's so important for your spirituality, for your witchcraft, for your workings um, that involve both psyche and soul and matter, and that's what we're getting into right now. Now, before we talk about depth psychology, we have to talk a little bit about Jung. You know me by now, right? <laughs> Carl Jung is a psychologist born in 1875 in Switzerland, and he is the father of analytical psychology, but also really the predecessor of depth psychology. Depth psychology does not exclusively mean Jungian psychology though. It also embraces Freudian psychology and the psychology of Alfred Adler, who was a contemporary of Freud and Jung. But whatever kind of angle you take to get into depth psychology, the focus has to be on really looking into the depths. What does the unconscious tell us about ourselves? So in our modern world, the line between psychology and spirituality is ever thinning, right? It's blurrier and blurrier. We don't really know what is spiritual seeking and what is psychological development. They seem often to be sort of the same thing. And if you get your spiritual cues from Instagram, then you know they're definitely the same thing. But really the way I see it is that psychology and spirituality are two sides of the same whole. They're both about moving ever closer to that centered state of wholeness. And I find that the psychologies that embrace the spiritual aspect are the ones that give us the most meaning and offer the most guidance. And so depth psychology is exactly that. It's the psychology that embraces the soul. And as the C.G. Jung Center describes, Depth psychology refers to approaches to therapy that are open to the exploration of the subtle, unconscious, and transpersonal aspects of human experience. A depth approach may include therapeutic traditions that explore the unconscious and involve the study and exploration of dreams, complexes, and archetypes. In essence, depth psychology is a branch of study that focuses on the relationship between the wilds of the unconscious and the reality of our conscious daily lives. And this psychology goes a lot deeper than the more mainstream forms of psychology that we read about and kind of peripherally know about today. It's not about our coping mechanisms or our love languages or attachment styles. The work of depth psychology is listening to depths. It's dream work, it's shadow work, it's ever approaching that archetypal capital S self that draws us into the whole of who we are. It is the work of individuation. And if you don't know what individuation is, go watch this video, that's an important thing. Um, and that's what the psycho-spiritual work really is. It is the work of becoming wholly, thoroughly, beautifully yourself. Before we go any further, if this kind of gets you a little excited, if you get kind of tingly when people talk about Jung or Tet psychology or the wild of the unconscious, I have something you're really gonna enjoy. This spring, I am reopening the Jung for Witches seminar series, which is my most successful seminar I've ever put on and perhaps one of the best. In this series, we're going to dive into Jungian psychology, depth psychology, and really look at how 
These psychologies can make relationships with our witchcraft, with our spirituality. The purpose of these seminars is really to hold your hand and walk you through these extraordinarily deep principles that can sometimes overwhelm us, but can be such an extraordinary foundation for building our spirituality upon. So if you've been interested in Jung or you've heard about him and you really want to know more, but every time you look at one of his books, you have a little panic attack, this is for you. We're going to dive into tarot, astrology, synchronicity, divination, parapsychology, feminist spirituality. It is going to be a comprehensive tour of Jungian thought and how that can really enhance, support, and grow your witchcraft, your spirituality, so that it is full and meaningful and it does the essential work of individuation. The series has just launched. Go check it out. Link is in the description. Feed your brain, feed your soul, feed your heart. Let's go deeper. So what do we do now that we know what depth psychology is? How do we bring that into our lives? What is the work of doing depth psychology in your own interior spiritual practice? The truth is, it's really just being willing to communicate with the unconscious and look for its messages. This can be through observing synchronicities, paying attention to dreams, doing that shadow work safely, correctly, watch this video. But really it's about just going deeper with yourself. There's so many ways to begin that. I highly recommend beginning a tarot practice if you haven't already, or diving a little deeper into the archetypes of astrology. But maybe you're like me and you just like learning about this and discovering how to use it in your own time. And if that's the case, go read some books. I have some really good Jungian books. Um, here's another link to that. A lot of links today. I love that I have so many videos now that I can just be like, boom, 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 like a power. Or honestly, come to the Jung for Witches seminar series. It is going to give you the information you need, guide you through, pull you deeper, and it's gonna have less pressure. You don't have to do it all on your own. Don't worry if you can't join live, it is streaming for you to watch whenever you want. And um, again, check out the link, go learn about it, send me a question if you have one, and it's, it's really gonna be pretty awesome. So that's it. I wanted to keep it nice and short, just give you a little intro into depth psychology. There's really not too much to talk about other than what it is. It is the working with the unconscious. It is diving into the spiritual landscape, not through these behavioral patterns, but really the deeper meaning that always exists within you. So go off on your psycho-spiritual journeys, my friends live them, explore them. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I just hope you have the most wonderful, meaningful day. It's really embarrassing how much I like you. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I'm a sucker for it. Mm -hmm.